Good evening to you. Thank you for keeping it Prime Edition here on KBC Channel 1. Time to get the latest in the world of business. My name is Betty Kiptum. Now, Energy and Petroleum Cabinet Secretary Davis Churchill has defended his predecessor John Munez against allegations of misappropriating 16 billion shillings spent to stabilize fuel prices. Appearing before National Assembly Public Petitions Committee, CS Churchill said the funds were used to prudently, um, they were used prudently but added that the government still owes marketing companies 47 billion shillings accrued between June and October last year. And as Gishuki Washira reports, the Petroleum CS has downplayed requests by MPs to subsidize petrol, saying it is unsustainable. The National Assembly Public Petitions Committee invited Energy and Petroleum Cabinet Secretary Davis Chirchir to respond to a petition by Consumers Federation of Kenya questioning a 16 billion shillings expenditure by the previous regime to stabilize fuel prices. Chirchir defending the spending and said the government still owes all marketers 47 billion shillings in accrued compensation. What is the plan of paying this? And uh, this uh, money that is owed by the oil companies, is it uh, on the same spirit of, uh, of uh, stabilizing the pump prices of fuel? Settling the outstanding amount was critical in order to avoid disruption in supply of petroleum products in the country. MPs question the suspension of fuel subsidy when pump prices are rising. The cabinet secretary, however, said the subsidy was unsustainable and attributed the rise in pump prices to tightening of monetary policy in the United States that was affecting the exchange rate of the dollar. Do you believe that uh, subsidy was the best, uh, was and is now the best intervention under the circumstances? So the increase that we see sometimes, that we have seen on the petroleum products, Sometimes it's not the cost of the plots out there, nor is it the cost of freight. It is the cost of foreign exchange uh, losses that we are paying up to 20 shillings at the pump. The ministry now seeks to defer payment of oil to the international market by six months to ease pressure on the dollar. If we take product today in April, for April, that payment will happen in September. The products that we take for May will mature in October. And that way we build a buffer of six months dollars in the country. From a macro issue, those dollars are then available to drive the rest of the, rest of the economy in manufacturing, um, in food security. Gishoku Washira, Prime Edition.